Hi, I'm Justin. Hi, I'm Stella. Hi, this is Nareen. Hi, I'm Pete's Jared Lagrasol. Agricultural products of the world have been pressurized by the growing population. Rice is one of the world's most important food crops. It is the chief source of food for about half of the world's population and accounts for 20% of all the calories that mankind consumes. Progressive and knowledge-based approaches are needed for the improvements in rice productivity. Future yield increase will mostly result from the improvements of different agronomic aspects such as nutrient supply. Nitrogen deficiency is the most commonly detected nutrient disorder observed in rice, which may appear in many ways in a plant including off-colored leaves. Nitrogen deficiency often occurs at critical growth stages when the demand for nitrogen is large. Hence, application of nitrogen in right amount and time is very much important in rice cultivation. The study was stimulated by leaf color charts or LCC first developed for use in Japan as the standard rice leaf color scale. The study eliminated the need to send samples to an agricultural office for analysis, saving time and money. Using the device to monitor leaf greenness throughout the growing season can signal the approach of a potential nitrogen deficiency early enough to correct it without reducing yields. The testing procedures included measurements on 20 rice leaves per plot, two trials, and two testing per trial for each farmer. It also included measurements on 20 rice leaves per plot, one trial, and two testing per trial for each researcher. When selecting sample rice leaves, it was recommended that leaves be fully intact, clean, dry, green, and free of signs of disease. The moisture present on the sample rice leaves was also avoided. The device reading was recorded from 20 randomly selected leaves. The selected leaves were inserted to the slot of the device to make sure that the sample was completely measured. A beep sound was heard which indicated that measurement was over and the value appeared on the display. The nitrogen management reading will be automatically saved in the meter and the reading for next leaf will be taken in the same way. After recording the measurement values of the plot for the 20 samples, the meter displayed the recommended amount of nitrogen fertilizer to be applied. Magandang gamitin at mas mabilis kaysa sa LCC dahil ang prototype ay maayos pagbigay ng datos. Kasi kami siya sa tulang ay kami kapos sa pataba. Dito. Dahil mahal ang pataba, Kami ay maasa nila lang sa isang pirno dahil lang kami ayos na, na ano, pagkakitaan doon. Kung siya may nang aming ane, hindi kami makapag-produce ng maayos na pag The researchers developed a palay leaf nitrogen meter. It is a reliable, efficient, and cost-effective way of estimating the nitrogen levels of rice crops based on the green color intensity of rice leaves. The recommended amount of nitrogen fertilizer is analyzed through those processes together with farmers' input information about a particular season. The prototype was proven to be faster to use than the leaf color chart, while giving an overall accuracy of 80%. The prototype can be used at any time of the day, unlike the leaf color chart, which can only be used from 8 up to 10 o'clock in the morning. The Palai leaf nitrogen meter is not only an effective way of estimating the nitrogen levels of rice crops, it also provides convenience to its users. We recommend constructing a lighter casing and develop a better leaf slot design for the prototype. Use some more advanced RGB color sensor for higher accuracy and adding a keypad for creating personalized usernames for easier interface navigation.